Hi, today we've got here a Perkins engine, a thousand series one. It happens to be in a Massey Ferguson tractor, but it's uh, the same type of engine fitted to lots of machinery. We're going to look at how to refit the timing cover and its front pulley seal in the correct manner. As always, this job started off as a simple job. We had a leaking water pump a few years ago. And while we were changing the water pump, which sits up here and drives off the gears, we couldn't get this bolt out there. And we've tried heating and lubricating oil and penetrating oil and all sorts of things. And eventually the bolt broke off. This has led to eventually um, the gasket starting to leak between the engine block and the timing case behind here. So I've had all this apart, replaced the gasket and put it back together. But now we've got to put in the cover on, we need to follow the correct procedure to make sure that one, we get the seal concentric with the shaft and the pulley but also, at the same time, we need to set the gap between the water pump drive and this gear here on the injector pump. And if I bring in the timing cover, we can see that... I'll take that one out. We can see that it's quite a slack fit on, on its fixings. And it can move about. I'll pop a couple of fixings in. And we can see how it can move about. So there's quite a lot of movement on there available. So what we have to do is using a tool or a gauge or whatever we'd call it, a special tool, is to get the gap equidistant around there. I've had a tool made in this instance where it's a nice fit on the crankshaft and it's also a nice fit in the seal hole. I've got a slight cutout for the key so as I can get it far enough in and we can pop that in there and use that just to engage and there we've got rid of all that sideways movement all we're left with is a bit of rotational movement and as long as we were to tighten that up midway between its movement we would find that we've got our seal concentric with the shaft and we've also got the distance between here and the water pump mounting flange here exactly right. Now we've looked at the principle of centralising the cover, we can take a look at the gasket, so we'll take the cover back off. If we take a closer look at the gasket, I've got a genuine parts gasket here and it's got varying options on it. As we can see, not all of it is required. So there's a piece here that we're going to need to cut out. There's a, there's a knockout part there actually, but we don't need the crossbar so we can cut that out with some scissors. And again here we've got an option, so there must be different types of timing covers available for different accessories. Now an easier way to deal with the gasket, because it's so floppy, we've only got two screws there. So what we can do is use some temporary lining up dowels as so. So they're just bolts with heads cut off and that we'll be able to remove afterwards. And that'll just help us hold the gasket in place. That one might be better over there. That'll just give us something to hold the gasket in place while we offer up the cover. You see all it wants to do is fall over. But that just makes it so much easier so as we know we're in the right place. And once we've got our centralising tool back in place 
we can start to bolt that one up. Once we've got a few extra bolts in the cover, we can then exchange the guide studs for some normal bolts and tighten up and be happy with that. The last thing to concentrate on this job is the seal itself. So to do that, we need to take out the centralising tool and then apply a little bit of oil around where the seal goes. We use just normal engine oil and then we can offer up the new seal because there's a little bit of lead on the hole. But as an explanation, the original seal would be fitted to a depth from this surface to the surface of the seal of about 6.25 millimetres. Now if your pulley surface isn't worn, you can put it back into that same depth. Or if the pulley surface that the seal lip runs on is a little worn, there's, there's opportunity to put the seal in a little further and use a new part of the pulley where it rubs against the seal. So we've had our tool made on the other end of the centralising tool. I've got a, a lip cut on it, which is 7.25 millimetres deep. We're going to use that to install the seal smoothly and evenly around the case. So to be able to pull the seal in gently, I've made a little adapter plate that fits on here. And once we get it tightened up, we can then put a piece of threaded rod in the middle of it and use that to draw the seal tool into place. And there's a piece of threaded bar goes in next. If we don't need to have it real tight, we just need to have it so it's equal. And the threaded bar will go between those screws there. We can then use the tool that we made, along with a selection of bits and pieces of washers, to fill the gap up here. And we can use that to gently almost press the seal into place without causing any damage at all. And if we start to just gently put a bit of pressure on the threaded rod and the seal slides in nice and equally and nice and evenly and we'll take it right up until the shoulder of the tool touches the timing cover. Now the install depth on some of these Perkins engines is different so on the very later 1000 series you'll find that it might be 10.2 or 10.5 millimetres. So you need to really consult the appropriate manual for the engine in question. Well, that gives us a real professional way of fitting the seal. So now that we've backed the, the tool off, the seal pressing in tool, we can see now that we've got the seal pushed in by exactly the right amount and when you measure it it's the correct amount and even all the way around so we'll get a good a good seal against the pulley that just leaves us the water pump and the pulley itself um, followed by the rest of the front of the tractor and we're back to work now it may look that we've look as though we've gone for quite a lot of effort to make these tools just to replace one seal but in this instance you can't get the pulley off to redo the job without totally dismantling the front of the tractor, the front casting. The pulley sits on here and the front casting's right against it. So it's an awful job to have to do it again. So if we do it right the first time, it'll be fine. <laughs>